Hey, people of the web, hope you're good today and you stay creative. Welcome back to my studio, Warsaw, Poland. My name is Paul and I'm also good today, though I'm a bit tired because I had a massive major crash of my computer and I had to reinstall my whole main studio machine. That was hell of an effort. But you know what? I decided this time to do the full ISO copies of all my drives. So whenever anything like this happens, I'm ready to restore the whole working system from ISOs. And I'm wondering why haven't I done this before? Anyway, all the rest is really good in the studio and I'm also happy that you, I hope you liked my new series audio news of the week. You'll find the first episode here. It's a comedy, kind of comedy show with, well, all the audio news of the week. And I'm not gonna make them as the intros of my regular videos starting from now on. And the topic of today's video is a new version of Nuendo. Yes, Nuendo 12 is out. And whenever a new version of Nuendo is out, I'm always there because this is a DAW of my choice. I love this DAW. I think it's kind of best for me. And today I'd like to show you my favorite eight things from Nuendo 12 and tell you a bit why it's my favorite DAW. This is how Nuendo 12 looks like. Well, not much difference from Nuendo 11, you would say, but believe me, there's a lot of new things under the hood. Nuendo 12 comes with more than 50 new features and improvements. <laughs> That's kind of a lot, so I exactly decided to choose eight of them. Well, I was about to take five of them, but okay, let's make it eight. Hopefully the video still is not gonna be too long. And well, that's gonna be improvements and new features from all the areas you can imagine actually. Because why I like Nuendo? It's absolutely versatile. Nuendo is for everything and I really mean it. I don't mean that it's for everything so it cannot do really anything. No, it really can excel in every branch of audio and musical work. It's for music production, it's for audio post, it's for um, audio books, um, audio plays, uh, it's for game audio and anything in, else you could imagine as an audio or music work. And the first thing I'd like to really recommend you in Nuendo 12, it's a really new thing, I'm gonna expand any of the tracks, are ERA extensions. For now I've got only spectral layers extension, but you can have a list of more of them. And what this thing does is that you choose your error extension, you wait for a short while, and then the error extension is added to each audio event on your audio track. And when you open the editor, well, you can edit your audio exactly here with the chosen error compatible editor. And well, I'm just waiting for the RX9 air extension for Nuendo to appear. I, I believe this is our own isotope side. Let's hope it comes quick because that means I'm not gonna use the RX connect to send my audio and get it back to Nuendo. That would be awesome. And really that's the way to improve my workflow and the speed of what I do. The second thing I really love about new Nuendo is the fact that you can align audio on timeline, not on the editor. Let me show you. What you have to do is that you have to select free warp from the top toolbar of Nuendo and take a look. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes, and so on and so on. Well, <laughs> you can surely achieve some really nice creative effects while doing this. But of course, it's a great thing to align quickly your ADR takes. And well, I'm gonna use it in two days when I finish my large ADR, ADR session for a feature film. Uh, I can see that it's useful for some tweaking some sound effects that are not fully aligned. You like the tone, you like the character, but you still have to edit something. This is very quick. This is very simple yet ingenious and I'm gonna use it a lot. I know it already. The third thing I'd like to show you is 
something for the game audio people because now you endo can create markers from selected events position markers and both cycle markers and well when doing game audio working with cycle markers to export your asset well you can't live with, without it now it's really super easy with nuendo and i can combine uh, mm, events that are touching each other that are overlapping into one marker and I can also treat every single event as a, as a separate marker and boom and here it goes. Yeah, I had uh, a macro for this on my Metagrid app on my iPads but you know what, I'm not gonna use this macro no more because this is what I need exactly. The fourth thing I'd like to show you in Nuendo is somewhere else and it's something else. It's a new MIDI remote manager that lets you create MIDI controller mappings in a really, really nice and visually satisfying way, I would say. I can choose a vendor here, I can write down the model. I've got a small Alesis V25 keyboard here and I'm gonna try to map it here for you very, very quickly. Mm, and the input port's gonna be V25, output port's gonna be V25, create mini controller surface. As you can see, I've got a grid. I can make this grid any size I wish. I can make it button, fader, trigger pad or knob. So yeah, I've got four knobs here, eight trigger pads. Let's start with these. And simply I move my controller, two, three, uh, four and then I'm gonna add my pads. One, two, three, four, and in the lower zone, one, two, three, four, etc., etc., etc. Moreover, you've got ready-made presets for some controllers that are already mapped there for you, and they look pretty cool. You get, for example, Novation launch key here in the lower zone. Look, they look actually almost the same as the originals. I've got something by Arturia, Akai, Korg. Mm, these are just examples of the things you can create here. And yes, my Elysis is really going to get a mapping. My Axe Touch is going to get another mapping, that's for sure. I'm also thinking about mapping my subsequent uh, 37, for example. What's more? new plugins well i wanted to choose two of them but i just decided to go for fx modulator which is a new thing for new window users and it's a time-based lfo based multi-effect i'm gonna take any music track from what i have here and let's take for example bit crusher let's make it random <laughs> All right, that escalated quickly. No, I'm not gonna to pretend to be a DJ on decks here, but this creative tool has got some serious power under the hood and I'm surely going to explore this. This reminds me a bit of things like Tantra 2 uh, by Dimitri Shas or maybe some tools by Output, like Movement. And yes, I'm willing to try the tools of that kind, always. Another thing I'd like to mention and show to you is the new ADR taker. Yes, I was making fun of it a bit in my audio news of the uh, week uh, series, but it is a great tool. We're not gonna explore it right now because it's got a lot of great things for ADR and post-production people. Enough to say it works with EDIQ version 4. You can send the markers to EDIQ. You can take the markers from the EDIQ into Nuendo. It also works with TTAL by Netflix uh, and it has always been great but I suppose it's even greater and yes I told you like we are in the process of making ADRs right now so I'm gonna surely try all the new functions of ADR machine that are here and the very last thing I'd like to mention is 
Now you can render your Dolby Atmos as binaural mix for your headphones, for the preview, for your client, for your own translation. Yes, you can do it, and it's kind of straightforward, I'd say. You just ra run Setup Assistant, uh, you add bad and go, and now you choose the tracks you want to include. Yes, and now functions, create objects from selected tracks. There they are. I open Mixer, I've got Renderer here, and yes, here comes Binaural. You can make it Binaural here. Mm, and guys, this is like a very speedy <laughs> kind of run through Nuendo 12. But these are the functions I'm really interested in, these are the things I really am going to explore and use. And yes, there is much more. Uh, I should also say that everything that has been there in Cubase 12, it's also in Nuendo 12. So if you feel like upgrading with some audio post or game audio tools to combine it with your production, music production environment, Nuendo is also for you. Moreover, all the Cubase projects will be opened in Nuendo. Well, all, all the Nuendo projects can be also opened in Cubase Pro. As far as I know, I did it a couple of times with no hassle. Guys, that's it. I don't want to make this video too long. Let's sum the things up. Is Nuendo for you? That might be kind of controversial, but whatever you do, my answer would be yes, Nuendo is for you, because it can do music production, it can do game audio, it can do sound post, sound design, audio plays, whatever audio or music mixing, mastering, whatever audio work you can imagine, yes, you can do it in Nuendo without compromise. That's why I've been using Nuendo since version four. A guy called Kamil Sayevich showed me it once, uh, it was version 4, Hi Kamil, and then I decided to stick with Nuendo. I had a choice then, when I set up my own studio, to work with Nuendo like 14 or 13 years ago, or Pro Tools, and I have to tell you that back then I chose to stay with Nuendo, and I never regretted this decision. So, if you feel like you need to combine some workflows, if you feel like you need to speed up a couple of things and discover new ways of doing your audio, just give it a try and go for a new Android 12 trial. Take care, see you next time.